Hello friends, in my this video, I am going to discuss another lead code problem and uh, this problem again important for a uh, service company based placement process okay so before going to any service company based placement process just go through all the easy uh, problems of the lead code because although those are easy but those are also standard problems and uh, those also sometimes may get time complexity error because of uh, bigger uh, logic which is taking some more time okay so if you practice those at least uh, you can uh, do or manage the programming which may appear in TCS digital or ninja or cognizant uh, interview process or in case of Infosys power programmer etc okay so another problem it is 868 problem name is binary gap what the question says given a positive integer n find and return the longest distance between two consecutive ones in the binary representation of n if there are no two consecutive ones return zero simple from the problem statement itself we can understand and here detailed explanation with input output is given let us study that so input is 22 output should be 2 why because 22 binary representation is 10110 so uh, see here one one is appearing here another one is appearing here in this particular index another one is appearing right so basically if you see the maximum distance between consecutive one is appearing in this case which is basically two we cannot consider these two uh, ones which are appearing just side by side because here distance is lesser compared to this case where uh, there are two api one appearing consecutively but there one zero is present in between these two ones okay so uh, gap is maximum gap is two so output should be two like that suppose for 5 5 binary representation is 101 one, output should be 2 for 6 110 one, output should be 1 because just two are uh, situated side by side right and then for 8 the representation binary representation is 1000 zero, zero, zero. so basically only one um, one is present so as a result no uh, distance between two consecutive ones comes into picture because there are no uh, two ones okay only one is present in the binary representation of eight so that output should be zero so how to write the code step one is obviously uh, clear we have to convert the integer to its binary representation then step two in step two what we can do we can find out in which index positions one is appearing in step three what we can do we can make difference of two of those positions okay suppose uh, the positions where one is appearing in the binary representation of the input number which we have passed through our function is number uh, position one three and five now what we have to do you have to make the difference okay so three minus one that is two then five minus three that is two and uh, similarly suppose at uh, index six also one is appearing so uh, one three five six if our index positions where one is appearing in the binary representation so we have to just difference the we have to just uh, calculate the difference in between uh, the distance of the, the difference in between the index positions so that we can get uh, so that basically we can get what is the distance in between consecutive ones appearing in the binary sequence and from those distance we have to then find the minimum distance sorry maximum distance because here maximum distance has to be found out right okay longest distance okay so according to that code is written see very simple code class solution okay public int binary uh, gap int n okay our function name is binary gap and we are passing int n through it then string a equal to integer dot to binary string n basically we are converting our input n which is basically integer to its binary representation in string format now as i told you i have to first find out where one is appearing in the binary representation so for that i have created one array list because i don't know exactly in the input i don't know about the input pattern that uh, how many ones may appear so i cannot create array with that right because to create array first we have to define the array length okay so as we don't know our input pattern so we have to go through list and uh, the, uh, either linked list or array list we can implement i am i have used here array list okay Array list integer w equal to new array list integer. Okay, 
then for int i equal to 0 i less than a dot length i plus plus if a dot carrot i equal to equal to 1 then w dot add i so basically we are storing all the index of the uh, binary string where one is appearing in the w array list all right then what i have told you we have to calculate the difference in between those index positions that is basically nothing but distance in between two consecutive ones so for that i have created again one another array list array list integer w a equal to new array list integer which will basically store the distance or the difference in between two consecutive index positions of ones in the binary representation of our input number n then what we have done for in i equal to 0 i less w dot size minus 1 i plus plus see what i have done to calculate the index positions w a dot add math of abs of w dot get of i minus of w dot get of i plus 1 so basically we are calculating the difference i have taken absolute part of that and that we are storing absolute difference we are storing in w a array list okay now in the next step as you have to find, find out the longest one so in temp equal to 0 for int i equal to 0 i less than w a dot size i plus plus so basically now i am iterating in the uh, uh, array list which is basically storing the distance in between consecutive ones okay if temp less than w a dot get of i if our variable uh, the data stored in our variable is lesser than the particular element in the w a variable we are going to replace that so temp equal to w a dot get of i so as a result after the iteration of this for loop in the temp variable the longest distance will be stored so that return temp that's all you can run the code you can implement the same uh, algorithm in your favorable language it need not be java it can be c or c plus plus or python whatever here lots of options are there okay you can implement this see uh, if our input is 22 output is 2 expected output is also 2 okay so our code has run successfully okay now you can submit that and you can check the status and see uh, yeah it is accepted memory size is 33.4 mb runtime 1 millisecond faster than 53.04 percent of java online submission for binary gap and uh, memory usage is 33.4 mb lesser than 7.14 percent of java online submission for binary gap so that you can basically check how much efficient code you can write from this also like you, you can more make this code more efficient you can write some uh, get some algorithm okay in this disk discussion part here uh, the algorithms uh, and code written in different language you will get see here lots of uh, solutions are provided okay i hope you have understood this particular algorithm if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section and i am going to post the same code in the uh, comment section of my this video if you want you can check there thank you for watching